Oh, that's what are you doing? No, the, the two that I just told you this. You haven't read a single book this month. I've, I've read, read two this month. How are you going to read all those? I'm not. Good luck with that. Get out! Oh, you are a bitch. Okay, I'm sorry. Did that come out of my mouth? They hurt. You're taping that? My mother's abusive people. It's now on the internet. Whatever. Look at me, Karen. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with my Booktubeathon TBR for 2018. Booktubeathon is taking place from July 30th to August 5th, and it's hosted by Ariel Bissett and a couple other people. But there are a couple of reading challenges to try to complete, so I'm going to try to do those, but probably not going to happen. But without further ado, let us get started. The first challenge is that you need to flip a coin in order to pick your first book. So I have my coin here, and I have my two books from my July TBR because I'm not doing very well on that, so I figured I should probably try to read that. The two books that I'm going to be flipping my coin between is A Sister's Secret by Sydney Rax and Colleen Hoover's Maybe Someday. So this is gonna be heads, this is gonna be tails, are we ready? Got the coin, flipping, catching, going, head. This is heads. So we're going to be reading A Sister's Secret by Sydney Rex. I'm actually kind of happy that it was this one because this is the one that I kind of wanted it to land on. It's about this group of sisters who have a sister's day in order to like stay in touch and one of the rules of sister's day is that you always have to tell the truth about what's going on in your life and one of these sisters has the secret and she ends up telling the other sisters what it is and then shit goes on from there and I am so intrigued because I'm hoping it's that she murdered somebody. I don't know. I feel like that should be it. The second challenge is to read a book about something you want to do. So I am saying I want to go on a road trip because I've never really gone on like a big huge road trip. I've gone to like Pennsylvania or like Washington or like things like that for basketball or shopping but I want to go like super far, long time, I think it would be cool. So I'm choosing Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Ratson because it's like literally all about a road trip so we're gonna read this one. The next challenge is to read a book to movie adaptation and I am kind of cheating for this one, but it's fine. We're going with it. It's a Put-In by Julie Murphy, which is like the sequel companion novel to Dumplin', which is being created into a movie. Kind of cheating, but I'm going with it. Deal with it. I'm a cheater. We all know this. It's happening. All right. Okay. The fourth challenge is to read a book with green on the cover, so I'm going to read Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. As you can see, it's very green, so it definitely works for that challenge. Next challenge is to read a book with the same hat on at all times during your reading. So have my hat. It is my kitty cat hat. I love it. It has ears. I was gonna wear a baseball hat but I was like that's not very comfortable. I mean it is summer so my head is gonna be sweating a lot but I figured if I have this hat on I can lie in my bed without the like bill of the baseball hat getting in the way and pissing me off. So this is a lot more, you know, flexible and whatnot. So we're working on that. The book that I'm going to be reading for that challenge is Not Even Bones by Rebecca Schaefer. And I'm so excited for this book because it is described as Dexter meets the Savage Song, which I love both of them. So I am very excited about this book. The next challenge is to read a book with a pretty spine. So I am going to read Ink and this is by Amanda Sun. Honestly, no idea what this is about, but I thought that the cover was pretty, which is why I bought it. But look at the spine, very pretty. Therefore, that's my challenge for pretty spine. And then the final challenge is to just read seven books and I decided to read The Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson because it's the second book in the Kiss of Deception trilogy. I just figured that if I read Kiss of Deception then I can move on to the second book in the trilogy because why not? Might as well. And I need to read seven books so 
might as well get farther into a series if I do say so myself. Alright guys, so that is my TBR for a Booktubeathon. I probably will not get a lot of reading done because I'm working full time. So reading doesn't really happen because I come home and go to bed mostly. So hmm. we'll see how well it goes. Let me know down below if you are participating in Booktubeathon and what you're planning on reading. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye. Yeah.